In this video, we'll be replacing the blades on a Ryobi blower that is no longer working effectively and is actually making a really loud noise. If you look into the back of the blower, you might be able to see that these fins have become damaged or are even missing. And if you don't fix this soon, you'll end up damaging the rest of the blower. Here's what the blower sounds like right now, just for reference. You can hear the plastic just rubbing up against the other plastic and eventually this entire blower will be no good. So to fix this, this is a $10 part from Amazon. You'll need a T15 Torx screwdriver or an Allen key, a flathead screwdriver, and a crescent wrench. If you don't have the Allen key or the Torx screwdriver, if you have the kit with all the bits in it, a T15 bit is actually part of this kit as well. So of course, before we get started, safety first, you're gonna need some safety glasses. You're gonna to wanna to remove the battery, of course. And I'll point out the screws uh, that we'll be removing. There's one, two, three, four on this side. Once you remove those four screws, that'll pull out. Um, then on this side, there's one screw here. On the other side, there's another screw there. The rest of the screws are on this side. We'll be removing this one, this one, and either loosening or removing that one. And that will allow us to spread open this casing on top and pull out the front part of this plastic. So let's remove these four screws on the back. So this simply slides out once you have those four screws removed. We'll remove the one that's on this bottom side. Flip it around and remove the other one on the bottom. Now the rest of the screws we'll be dealing with are on the casing itself. So we'll be removing this one completely. We'll be removing this one. And loosen this one. So with those out of the way, you can take the flathead screwdriver and kind of open up this top portion. Let's see if we can get a good view here. You'll see that this plastic is holding the top of this front part in place. So once you spread this out, this entire thing will just slide forward. And now we can see the motor, and this is the shaft that we'll need to clamp onto with our crescent wrench. And on the other side, these are the damaged blades. So for this step, I find it's easier to uh, go through from the side. Get your crescent wrench, and get, the, get the sizing just right to where it can go over that and hold it in place, and you'll simply unscrew this. It's that easy, it just comes unscrewed. Uh, just to point out, there is a bushing in there that you might have to replace sometimes. Mine appears to be okay, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Get our new blade. I'm still holding the crescent wrench on this side, and I'm going to simply 
screw the new one on. So I'm only going to do hand tight on there. Be sure not to grab onto the blades because you might break them. I'm just grabbing onto this top part. So now we'll just kind of go in reverse here. This will be the hardest part is putting this uh, plastic piece back in because everything needs to line up on both sides. The clear plastic needs to go on the underside of the darker plastics. Be careful not to snap anything. And as you push forward, you'll need to spread this back out again so that can catch into place. So you can push that back together once that's there. Also make sure that the bottom is lining up. All that's lining up so we can start putting these screws back in. Be sure to get that one that you had loosened. Don't over torque anything. Put the bottom screws back in. Now we just need to put the back back on. So just line this up, push back in. And be careful not to over torque these screws. These are just going into plastic so it's easy to over torque them. All right, so finally we can put the battery back in and give this a test. Good as new.